Okay, here at Bini uh, Community Forest, people are making decisions that have both uh, benefits to the environment and that generate uh, incomes and uh, livelihoods. And we're here sort of, uh, this is a good example right here of both positive benefits. We're, we're looking at some pits uh, where a group of, uh, of 22 women from the community have established an enterprise with the express purpose of creating green manure. Uh, which is put on rice fields and on gardens uh, through a composting process. And they're using as the uh, organic source of supply for the fermentation process, if you will, or the mulching process, an invasive species. Jungle ko pani hamro adhikar hamro adhikar cha ya adhikar na bhai hami aao na paun thena hamro adhikar cha adhikar nae bhai ra hamle ya upa bhagar na paim nae mane yo adhikar banda bhai ra ko manchile ya kei gharnu bhai mane hamle chahi swada hai karcha. Ab baar ba pani maila purush hai mile ra ab maila purush hami bara bari nae bhai ya sa aje thala mati koi gari hai na. अब दीदी भाई नहीं अरे परिश्रम पने सब ये दीदी भाई नहीं अरे मिलेर गर्म हुआ था हमने पंद्रह बीस जाने दीदी भाई ले पच्चीस जाने दीदी भाई ले गर्म हुआ था उद्योग चलाने को नुवा था खोजे गर्म ना खोजे ऐसे मामले तरह अब ये सब ये बाजार भाव ये रुपए नहीं परसस्ता आमने पाए हमले और काम पन करते uh, since 1992, about 20,000 community forest user groups have been established legally in Nepal. Women are, are principal beneficiaries uh, of the rights that have gone to uh, the forest. It turns out that women are quite often the community members who collect the non-timber forest product. The, the questions about rights to natural resources for women and, and uh, marginalized groups are bound up with a larger movement uh, for women's rights and, and the rights of others globally. And it's interesting that in a country where it's important and consequential, that in a country that remains largely rural, like Nepal, uh, that questions of rights to resources, to livelihood and income are being really debated here, uh, arguably more than they are in the city. And what we see in, in rural Nepal is women stepping forward and demanding their rights uh, to benefit from these resources, to participate in uh, institutions, local institutions that govern uh, the use of these resources, um, and to be very active not only from a livelihood sort of participation point of view, access to resources, but in, in the whole area, whole sphere of, of governance and decision making. And so this is an example of, I think, women stepping up uh, increasingly with the support of the law. Uh, and with the support of civil society uh, to assert their rights to not only benefit but also to govern how natural resources, resources are used.